haven't y'all tried miracle food yet? Miracle food. Mega food. Miracle food. Miracle food. Miracle food. Miracle food. Miracle food. Miracle food. Please support your black businesses and support your health. This is a tool to genuinely heal people. It's through the roof. I feel like I'm low-key levitating in this bitch. This should be in your cabinet. And Sharp show. And he covered a lot of topics. One topic that he covered in particular that we're going to talk about today is he's pretty much blaming deadly rat beef on social media streaming platforms, right? right. Now, he goes on to that, say that YouTube and others, but particularly YouTube, should stop paying when people put up beef. Instead of people paying attention to a negative algorithm, they should pay attention to a positive one. It's just a program that we keep falling into. Uh, what needs to be profitable is our love and our unity, and that's what has to be showcased. When you hear that, we're in the industry where yeah. we talk. We've talked about beasts before. Yep. We talk about all types of things. We don't just stay there. Right. Um, politicians, you know, uh, uh, rappers. We go down a whole line. Talk to everybody, businessmen. How do you feel sitting in the seat of almost like criticizing what we do? Mm -hmm. I mean, gotta keep it real. And our peers in the game. It. He makes very good points. And let me kind of provide some context to what he meant. So when you click a video. And you click a style of video, YouTube will see that in its algorithm and recommend videos like that or subscribe or, or, or platforms like that so that you can watch more and more of what you click on. If you notice, you click on something on YouTube, you'll get stuff just like that when you click back on the YouTube. That's how the algorithm works. So when you see these videos of Soldier Boy going at Young Dolph, may he rest in peace, or little things like that, and you see people starting to grab this information and put it up, and it starts clicking and, and the algorithm starts picking these names and these words and these key things up, mm -hmm. it starts getting shared and it gets shared in abundance. And then when you top that off with your shade rooms and your Hollywood unlocks and your uh, Jasmine guys, uh, Jasmine brand, excuse me, and I'm not trying to box these outlets out, but the major online outlets that provide news and information, they start grabbing it. Mm -hmm. Then the shit's everywhere. Now it's within the algorithm. Oh God, we've been doing this for a long time and we pride ourselves in putting the food within the candy we know how to market our videos to where people will click but once they click we make sure they get some valuable information right how many times have we put out positive videos and they've done far less than the videos that kind of give some type of yeah. drama yeah. that the yeah. people yearn for it's an unfortunate circumstance we hate to sit back and have to always dive into that but it's an unfortunate reality that yeah, it would be great if you two promoted positive things and did that. We would love that. But would the people still watch the same? They, it has to be a self-evaluation. I'm going to talk, talk, deal with it two different ways. First about covering the rat beef thing. I think, to me, it's like, and, and it's how you do it. Because you'll see, like, there'd be a reporter, like right now, Russia, Ukraine. It'd be a reporter there, you know, and bombs is going off behind them. They're telling you what happened. They're not... You know, cussing somebody out, disrespecting the person. They're not putting two people at each other. They just come in and say, okay, this is what was documented. They're documenting that. And that's what we do to a certain extent. We give our opinion on different things, but we're not like egging people on and saying, oh, you know, he just them. He need to come back and shoot this cat. Nothing like that. So I think there's a differentiation between that. The other part I kind of want to talk about is how, you know, yeah, you know, we're in the industry where we have to cover a lot of beasts. And YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these different platforms, they are, you know, recommending stuff as people watch them. But I've seen positive stuff also yep. go viral. You know, whether it's somebody playing with a kitten, mm -hmm. they get 9 million views, <laughs> you know, a baby, you know, saying something where the family's laughing, you know, all types of stuff. So it's really, it, it, it's the people. It's not really YouTube. push. They push it, but they're pushing what the people yep. want to see. If you put up a video... And it's a 12 minute video and people are watching that video, you know, 10 minutes of that video, then they're going to push that video because mm -hmm. they're saying, oh, okay, the algorithm is saying, which is a computer generated thing that, okay, these people want to watch this video. So I need to push it out to them. That, that don't just stop at negativity. But I do agree with Dane, though. I got to say this because when you look at the reporting on what goes on in hip hop, a lot of it's garbage, bro. Oh, yeah. A lot of it's garbage. A lot of it's, you know, a lot of misinformation. A lot of people saying a whole bunch of different stuff that's not real. I don't think that's cool one bit. And um, if these, you know, social media platforms stop paying, people wouldn't talk about it. That, that's one thing that is true. But to blame the platform, 
I don't know if I can do that. Let's take it even deeper and pertain it to hip hop in as in particular, because you look at the type of music that's even being distributed now. Damn the beef that's going back and forth talk on social it. media. Yeah. You talk about the music. I'm sitting there with my son, right? And I challenged him. I was like, yo, you can put on whatever you want, but you can't talk about killing and you can't talk about drugs. Right. Put whatever you want on. Right. And he was stumped. He couldn't put shit on. Nothing. Couldn't find anything. Then he put this record on. He was like, oh, God. Then he put this record on. It was like, oh, right. man. And then the records he did find was like, okay, nah, this ain't no drug use. This ain't no violence. It was degrading women. I didn't even say anything about that, but as I'm listening, I'm like, okay, well, damn, those are the three right there. It's either you're degrading women, you're talking about violence, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you're talking about drug use. Right. And this is the hip hop that he's grown on, and this is unfortunately most of the hip hop that we've grown on if you were bred in the 80s and or born in the 80s and bred in the 90s. So yeah. it, it's a it's a trickle-down effect, and that's where I could see a finger begin getting pointed because they promote this to them, and then they act out these lyrics that they probably really aren't even portraying but then they act it out on these social media things and then people pick it up we got to kind of well, point the finger be, you know what i mean then it's it because you remember how youtube i think at one point i don't know if they still got an effect they took all the nba young boys videos down because his image why just him if you're going to go over there you know if people are promoting crazy stuff start not letting it be posted on your platform if they really cared you know about you know the communities and what's going on i think these social media companies, and they do take some stuff down that's too crazy or whatever, vulgar, or too much sexual stuff, but I just think that they're there as a platform and that it's facilitating whatever's on there. They're filtering through it, but they're facilitating. Like, they're not picking, you know, what's going to go viral. Like, just, you know, NBA Youngboy puts something up and it does. You know what I mean? Then it doesn't go viral, but then again, somebody else can put something up that goes viral. So, yep. I, I just kind of, you know, um, of course, I mean, we, we're against the record industry and the way they push out and promote these different things and everything, but you know, the platforms themselves, I, 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 just, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's a money game, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And YouTube is out to make money. I seen a, a thing out yeah. on NBA Young Boy, speaking of him, perfect person to talk about because you've seen all the bullshit about him getting taken off of YouTube and all this. Bank. That dude made 16 to $17 million yeah. last year on YouTube on videos alone. Yeah. If he made that, do you know what YouTube made? A Come on more, now. Yeah, it's a split. Yeah, they probably made that or more. They yeah. made eight. eight. You know what I'm saying? So why would they take one of their biggest cash cows, somebody that drops a video and is probably on their top 10 trending anytime he drops yeah. it and they're going to make that kind of money on a two, three minute video? Shit. But my thing is like, okay, at the end of the day, I, I, we love Dame Dash, but oh yeah, I mean, what kind of music was he promoting and pushing back then when he was with Jay-Z and all them Rockefeller and shit? You know what I'm saying? At the mm -hmm. end of the day, so you got to kind of look at that. I know he's older now. He's evolved, right? He's evolved and we all got to get the opportunity to do so. He's calling out you know, the way he sees it at the end of the day. And, um, you know, just got to put that out there at the end of the day. We got a challenge. Look, at the and, and at the end of the day, it's never going to change if people continue to click on what they click on. When you got people talking about this person invoked revenge on this person for sexually assaulting them in jail and some wild <laughs> shit you see on some of these titles, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And then that has 900, a million views. What are you people clicking and what are you people really diving into? And what do you think is going to come back to you when you click videos like that? Yeah. More nonsense. More dudes jumping around with little t-shirts on stand. They're going to kill themselves on TV and now being on national. All kind of wild stuff right. that we see get promoted, man. It right. is the people, bro. Yeah, and I, I just think we and that was a good job. To introduce the show when I sent this to Sam Ask, oh God, that nigga said, oh God, you the man, Cass I spit white like a clan mask And I'm a hustler, I could stand out on the beach and sell sandbags Some things can last, but this ain't just a podcast This is Sam Ant and oh God, Cass Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.